Fourteen-year-old Avion Lawson set in court, shackled hand and foot, charged with gang raping a neighbor at gunpoint and forcing the woman's preteen son to take part in the assault. Police say Avion confessed but showed no remorse at a crime so debased that even hardened detectives were sickened. According to police, 14-year-old Avion Lawson and nine other young teenagers tortured the woman victim and her son for quite a while inside their apartment. They cut them with various sharp objects. They broke a plate over the young preteen boy's head and they actually poured some type of cleaning supplies into his eyes. After we broke the story of Avion's arrest Tuesday, his grandmother was obviously shocked. I don't understand how he could do something other like that. I don't understand it. A 14-year-old friend says his heart dropped when he heard of the arrest. That's just horrible, though, what they did. Cause, uh, they didn't have to do nothing like that to no lady and the, uh, and the son. The attack happened a few buildings away from Avion's apartment in Dunbar Village, a public housing project where people are reluctant to talk, afraid of retribution. Even as we interviewed one neighbor, a gunshot boomed nearby. But people here say that's nothing new. That's normal, though. Put that so that's can. normal. Put that so when I'm shooting out here, that's all the time. This week, officials blocked the entrance to Dunbar Village with two flower pots. The police chief says they're adding surveillance cameras. We've been working quite a bit with the housing authority director to get security measures uh, in place. And this unfortunate incident happened during those times that we've already started. Another teenager behind bars today. Accused of participating in the brutal gang rape of a woman and her son. I'm Terry Parker on scene in West Palm Beach. The second teenager arrested in that brutal West Palm Beach gang rape made his first appearance here this afternoon. 16-year-old Nathan Walker said nothing in the courtroom except that he understood the charges. His father, however, Nathan Sr., told me that he was shocked and saddened. He said he never taught his son to participate in anything with violence. We've learned that Nathan Walker does have a prior uh, conviction on misdemeanor trespassing, according to his lawyer, but he does also have two other open cases and because the juvenile records are sealed we don't know what that is. He has been ordered held with no bond and the state attorney's office says they're filing these juvenile cases as adults. On scene in West Palm Beach, Terry Parker, WPBF News 25. My son has a good heart. I love my son. You know, I'm going to stick by I, I can't believe he'll do something like this. Yeah sick and twisted. That's how the father of a teen charged with gang rape describes the situation. That teenager made his first appearance in court today. Terry Parker joins us live with more on tonight's big story. Terry? Nathan Walker is the second teen arrested for the home invasion and gang rape of a West Palm Beach woman and the assault on her preteen son. His father had quite a bit to say about how his son could be involved. 16-year-old Nathan Walker sits in court facing charges that his own public defender admits... Oh, they're significant, they're severe. The allegations are real negative. Police say Walker was one of 10 armed and masked teens who gang-raped and tortured a woman in her Dunbar Village apartment, assaulted her preteen son, and forced him to participate in his mother's rape. Walker's parents came to his first court appearance, his mother looking angry, and his father telling me, this is sick and twisted. My son has a good heart. I love my son. You know, I'm going to stick by it. I can't believe he'll do something like this. Police say they found Walker's palm print inside the victim's apartment. When questioned, they say Walker denied being there and asked for a lawyer. Who my son is, he's a shy, timid little boy, you know, and... I just can't see him doing stuff like that. I, I really can't. Mr. Know? Walker, there's nothing shy or timid about the charges he's facing. I know. You know I know. But I don't know what... I don't understand it, okay? I really don't. Walker Sr. says he has no idea where his son would get a gun. Maybe he's just hanging around the wrong crowd right now, in the wrong place at the wrong time. Do I don't know. Do you see him on a regular basis? Nathan Walker Jr. lives with his mother, Ruby, at Brandywine Apartments. But neighbors say he spent most of his time with friends at Dunbar Village. Walker Sr. doesn't live with the teen and says he only sees his son every few weeks. I hardly, um, it's been a while since I really just, you know, spent a lot of time with my son, you know. So, I, I don't know. Do you regret yeah. that? Do you think perhaps if you spent more time with him, this might not have happened? 
Yeah. Come on. The state attorney says he'll increase the charges from juvenile to, a, to adult within the next 21 days. Now, this story has sent shockwaves throughout the country, and many of you have an opinion. Here are just some of the comments left on the 24-hour breaking news website. Beth left this. My prayers are with the mother and son. This is such a horrific crime. It is just beyond any horror I can imagine. Wade writes... How could humans do this to someone? We set up our own message board on our website. To leave your comments, just go to WPBF.com and click on the story right on the homepage. Terry Parker, WPBF News 25.